I'm a month late. I'm a month and a couple days late, and I am so sorry about that. I love doing these monthly beauty favorites. Last month, I filmed it. I went to cut it together, and I had sick eyes because I had a sinus infection. It was not pleasant to listen to, and I thought, we're just going to push. And here we are, already in May, but I'm here with the March and April beauty faves. This is a good roundup I have for you here. Let's jump in. I'm gonna start with a lip product from NARS. This is the Orgasm Lip Mask, very similar to the Laneige uh, Lip Sleeping Mask. And honestly, I like both of them pretty much equally. What I like about this is the, the packaging has a little bit more heft to it, and it's pretty. So if you're someone that's gonna leave it out like on your nightstand or something, I just thought it was pretty in terms of how the product feels on your lips, how it wears, all of that, very similar to the Laneige lip sleeping mask, which I have a couple of. So I just bought this on a whim to try it. I love the uh, liquid blush from this line. I love NARS lip products, so I wanted to give this a go. It's really great. I probably don't need it since I have the Laneige, but here I am with it and recommending it. I have two bronzers to tell you about, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know I got the Gucci bronzer. It came highly recommended from Lindsay Silverman, who's an influencer as well. I need to be darker to wear it, so I don't wanna do it a disservice by using it too soon. I need to be a little bit darker in my coloring. So I've had the uh, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer for a while. You can see, pretty good amount of use. It is a matte, like no shimmer bronzer. Great if you're cool or pink toned. So I thought, hey, let's try the darker one. So this is chocolate. The lighter one is milk chocolate. This one is chocolate. It is a bit darker still matte. I'm wearing this today. So it works for lighter skin. Um, I really like these. They're very smooth. They blend really nicely. If you're going to wear a dewy foundation, I would make sure you set it before applying a powder bronzer. If you're wearing a dewy foundation, maybe look into a cream bronzer or something that'll blend better together with those two product types. But if you like a powder bronzer and you want something without shimmer, the Too Faced bronzers are fantastic. For setting your makeup, I've been testing the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I love the original Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I love this as well. Is there a huge difference between the two that I can notice? Absolutely not. So <laughs> it's up to you if you want the vitamin C benefits. Um, it sets my makeup the same, it feels the same, it looks the same, it lasts the same. This one just has some vitamin C in it, so I like both of them. I've enjoyed trying this. I was curious if this was gonna make my skin feel or look brighter. It doesn't, but it's a setting spray. I mean, what you, you can only ask for so much. So between all of the Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray, I'm looking at the um, Ultra Glow one, all of them are great. And I love that you have options to choose from uh, for a setting spray based on what you're looking for. All right, we're gonna just keep powering along here. I've got the Puff Me Volumizing Shampoo from Design Me. I grabbed this at the Pro Beauty Store. I'm having trouble finding it online. Um, I will put links to these things in the blog post. Um, I did not buy the conditioner because I am really fussy about my conditioner and typically volumizing conditioners are not enough for me and they also make my hair staticky sometimes. So I'm like, I'm just gonna give the shampoo a go because. I'll use the shampoo with the existing conditioner. I know I love, this is a really great volumizing shampoo, like really nice. It lifts my hair. It causes like a teeny bit of frizziness, which isn't terribly unusual with a volumizing shampoo since it's trying to like fluff everything up. So just keep that in mind. Um, but really nice volume, no static electricity problems from the shampoo and I would recommend it. Another product for volume that I've sort of rediscovered um, because I've, I've turned back to really trying to find a dry shampoo that works for me. So I actually bought this by mistake. I thought I was buying the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, but I got this full dry volume and texture spray, which I've used before. I really like it, but it has been a long time since I played around with it. It is awesome for just blowing up your hair with volume. You feel it, it does leave a teeny bit of like a texture residue on your hair, but that's where the volume comes from. So if you have really fine hair and you want to fluff it up and add volume and texture, this is it. You have to know that it comes with a little bit of feel on the hair too. It's not gonna feel like nothing. Um, so I just got the travel size because again, I thought I was buying the original dry shampoo, but I'm sure I'll restock this once I run out. I have two skincare products to tell you about. These are recommendations from my esthetician, Sheila, who is the best. 
Um, these are the, this is skin, both, no, this is BioElements. This is the SkinCeuticals Simply Clean Gel Refining Cleanser. A really nice cleanser for normal skin. My skin is dry and I have like pretty consistent hormonal acne issues on my chin. Um, but this doesn't leave my, have you ever washed your face and it feels like it sucks everything out of it and your skin's two sizes too small? This does not make your skin feel that way. So if you're looking for a new cleanser, I really like this one from SkinCeuticals. And then Sheila also recommended uh, this BioElements Power Peptide Revitalizing Toner. And when she was talking to me about a toner, I'm like, oh, I usually don't mess with toners because you got, you got to dump it on the cotton pad. I go through seasons where I use like essences or toners, but I always get out of habit with it because I'm like, it's just so many steps. I want to keep it simple. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. I usually only do this at night. Um, she's like, no, it's a mist. I said, sold. That's all I need to know. Um, so it's nice. A toner kind of resets the pH of your skin. It's maybe not a product that you can see dramatic results from like you could see from a retinol or a mask. Um, but it's a, it's good for your skin. So this power peptide one from BioElements has been a really nice, really nice routine for me because you just spray it on your face. Okay. I have one more, uh, two more body products to talk about and then we'll move into makeup. Um, I picked up the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Body Stick Ultra Hydration. I think at Ulta, I can't really remember. What I like about it is it's in a stick, and I like to sometimes sleep in socks. I know, controversial. But I'll rub this on my heels and on the dry spots of my feet and then put socks on, and it is like a deep conditioning mask for your foot all night long. And I like that I don't have to get my hands like full of shea, but like Vaseline level hydration and then get out of the bed, wash my hands. I just have this literally on my nightstand. So I just rub it on my heels, put my socks on, and my hands are clean, and it's doing all the good work. Um, I have a Vaseline stick just like this upstairs in my office, but I got this one, to, which I use upstairs, um, but I got this one to keep next to my bed. Okay, the next body product is the Kate McLeod Body Stone. I told y'all about this last year, and then um, I got to work with them to tell you about their Mother's Day kits, and that they are now at Sephora, but if you need something to just up your body moisturizer game that feels like special and works really well. These body stones are awesome. Oh, they smell so good. I think I have three or four different scents because I've been testing some of the stones. They're all so good. They're all so different. You cannot go wrong, but you can see it's just this like puck and you rub it on your skin. I've just put self tanner on. Otherwise I would have put this on. Um, to show you, but you can watch, mm, Never mind, those stories expired. Um, but it's just like this, it comes in this muslin cloth so you can get a little grip on it. And this is a reusable container as well. They're big on sustainability, um, no plastic, all that stuff. So you just rub this on your body, it melts into your skin. It does not leave my skin feeling greasy. I got a lot of that question when I talked about these body stones the first time. I'll just wrap it up to put it back in here. Um, you might want to like work it in with your hands. I don't, I typically just rub the stone all over and then it'll soak in over, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes and leave my skin really soft all day. Like if your skin looks like a desert, you need that body stone. This is sort of in the bronzer category. Um, this is the iconic London Precision Duo Contour Pot. What I love about it is it's hard to open, which means it won't come open in your makeup bag. But we've got the cream down here, the powder up here, and then a little tiny mirror right there. I like how tiny it is. It's great for traveling. Um, it's also a coolish toned contour, which sometimes can be hard to find. Do not use bronzer as contour. It is not the same thing. So this kind of level, this is the light shadow, the lightest color, um, is a perfect realistic looking contour. You can use just the powder, you can use just the cream, you can put the cream on and set it with the powder like I do with the Patrick Ta blush. The world is your oyster. Do with it what you will. I love this. I have three lip products to tell you about. If you remember on Instagram, if you follow me there, if you don't, you're missing out on a lot of fun. Um, I'm K8 underscore small things on Instagram. When I was in Florida with my mom and sister, I burnt my lips because I used a lip product that didn't have good enough SPF in it for me. So I got the K-Skin Isle Lip Balm in SPF 30. I wore it a few times. It's really nice. I wore it in South Carolina um, when we went down there for the kids' spring break. It's just an easy, like, easy applicator, clear product, goes on the lips is fine, no burn at all, 
I'm bringing this on all future vacations. Two other lip products are the By Mario Bare Glow. I love a click up product like that when it's in this form. I don't like the products that are, they click up like that and then it's a brush on the end. No, not for my lips. Um, this is, like I said, the Bare Glow Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. Do I see crazy plumping benefits from this? No, but it feels good on the lips. It's a really nice soft pink color um, and it stays locked in in your bag. I hate opening my purse and finding out the top fell off of my lipstick. Um, another lip product, kind of similar. I was looking for some sheer lightweight pinks, so I've been testing a bunch of them. I'll do a blog post soon. This is the uh, Le L'Absolu Mademoiselle Balm in 03 Plum Pink. This is by Lancome. Really nice wash of color, very similar to the NARS. Oh, I can't remember the exact name. The La NARS Lip. It's not the lip mask. It is not this product that I'm thinking of. It's very similar to a NARS lip product that's like a sheer wash of pink color. Like I think they're almost the exact same. Ugh, I'll try and think of the name of it and put it in the blog post. So not hugely radical differences. They're all kind of the same thing, but if you know me, you know I like to test a bunch of products and I'm like, which one's the best? If I'm looking for this type of thing, I'm gonna try a bunch and figure out which one is the best. Okay, two more makeup products to tell you about, or beauty. This is the Iconic London Radiance Booster in Champagne Glow. This is a beautiful product. I love to mix this in with a more matte foundation like the Luminous Silk Foundation and this together. Match made in heaven. You can also just wear this alone. You can mix this in with your moisturizer. You've got a million options. This is very similar to um, the Armani Fluid Sheer, except this is a thicker, more foundation level consistency, not coverage, consistency. And the Armani Fluid Sheer is very runny. So that's the biggest difference. I also tend to get a little bit more glow from this versus the Armani Fluid Sheer. So as a makeup lover, there's a time and a place for both of these. I'm happy that I have both. If you just wanna keep it simple and you want one, this Iconic London one, I think it comes in about three or four shades, don't quote me on that, um, is a really, really nice option. So I've enjoyed that. And then, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing a color that has chipped, so I need to replace this current nail color with this like flawless duo I figured out. This is the uh, Gel Couture. This is a new range from them, the Electric Geometric. Um, I think it's from the Pattern Play collection um, in Gel Couture. And then I typically use the Gel Couture top coat, but on a whim, I tried the Olive and June top coat because so many people recommend it. And something about this combo, it's like a match made in heaven. I can get a proper week out of my nail polish, which never happens. It never happens. So I've been very pleased with this duo. I've been wearing this a lot on my nails, except today. Um, yeah, I like this color, but it's chipped like crazy. So we're switching to this later today. Uh, so if you're looking for a long wear nail color, I love Gel Couture. The Olive and June colors don't last well on me. Um, but the top coat really is great. All right, we did it. We got through March and April beauty favorites. There's so many more things I could have told you about, but I really went through and hand selected the stuff that I'm like, if I was sitting down with a friend, these are the products I would be like, you gotta try this. Here's things I'm loving. So that's what made it into this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, you may enjoy watching my January or February beauty favorites. You can find those on the blog. You can also find them on my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, just click around. You'll stumble across it. And like I said, follow me on Instagram. I'm K8 underscore small things. Lots of fun over there. If I'm testing products, like I talked a little bit about that today, I usually give little sneak peeks on Instagram. Like, this is what I'm testing. Let me know if you've tried it, what you think of it. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of what I do here. So I enjoy that. And hope you guys maybe got some product recommendations from this video. And I'll see you in the next one.